of the Sharjah Book Fair here at the Book Forum. Today we have an author who is very unique in his style. He's published a book. When you look at it, you think it's a comic book. But actually, it's an illustrative business book. The author, on his maiden venture, has created a ruffle in the market. His expertise comes from the different industries that he has worked in. From banking, retail, airline, courier, spread over different countries. Given his experience, he has looked into one aspect of marketing, of business, and that is customer service. Let's put our hands together to invite this prolific writer, Mr. Gangadhar Krishna. Please give him a big hand. Welcome to the book forum, Mr. Gangadhar. Well, I have given a very simple, straightforward introduction to the audience about, about your book about your maiden venture. But I cannot put many things in words because there are not much words in your book. So how did you think of writing a book that doesn't have many words? Well, this was a book which I thought it should be very unique. So this book does not have any uh, text in that, but it's got only It's got only pictures. There is no text inside the book. It's a compilation of customer service of 202 pictures in customer service. So every page is a message about how you can serve your customers. So that's why there is very less text, hardly four pages of text, which is the introduction and uh, your endorsements and acknowledgements. And it's all about uh, how to handle your customers, take care of your customers. Where did you get this idea about writing a book without words? And that too, something like customer service. Well, I have been in various industries. And uh, one thing what I thought was, uh, from all these industries, what could I take over and add on to it? And I felt the common factor in all the industries was customers. And when I started looking at them, I just took little, little, little things about customer service, just one-liners of how they can handle them better. And that became a compilation of one-liners, uh, a book of one-liners. It evolved from book of one-liners, adding pictures to it. So finally, what happened was, after a period of time, we came up with this book called Customer Services. So it all started with the thought of, yes, we should do a book. We should leave a mark before we go. Have something which people can look up even when you are not here. Mm -hmm. So now the book is there. So that's how the whole concept for a book came up. And as we progressed, we it just moved from stage to stage. It was looking into services, then looking at making one-liners, then somebody said add pictures to that, and we added pictures to it. And finally, after three years, the book was ready. Wow, it took you three years to put that book together. That's right. So in the three years that you're putting that book together, what were you actually looking at in terms of just giving the idea of what customer service is or anything beyond that? See, the idea is that we should be in a position to understand how to take care of your customers. You have customers. All of us have got customers. We cannot deny that. But how well do you take care of your customers is the most important thing. Because what makes a customer happy today would be very different tomorrow. Every day the customer's requirements change, his wants might change. So this plays a very key role. And then you have to adapt to that to meet your customer's satisfaction. Take for a simple example. Today a customer comes to the bank. He has all the time to talk to you. Tomorrow he doesn't find a parking. Like people are still struggling for parking out now today. So he definitely doesn't have time, so he's in a rush. So you've got to see how you can gauge the customer's uh, responses and then give him the kind of service. That matters a lot. Now we've written a book 
on customer service. But how do you think uh, the reader of a forum like the Sharjah Book Fair would get from it? See, this is a book which has got only pictures. Now, if I might just share the book itself. Yeah. So it's completely with pictures and you will not find any text inside the book. It's everything about customer service. So here what happens is that when they see it, they catch on to what the concept of customer service is and learn from that. So they can see how well they can use it in their place of work or wherever they are. Now you have worked uh, through various industries. Mm -hmm. So if I have to say that this book is beneficial to each and every person who works in any industry in customer service department? I would say you have a customer, the book is useful for you. Because any customer you need to keep them happy, you cannot keep them unhappy. If you want your business to be growing, you have a customer, you take care of the customer. That's a simple logic behind it. It's a generic book where it tells each and every person how they can take care of their customers to have their business grow. So to answer your question, yes. Okay, uh, I understand there are some characters in the book to explain the uh, nuances of customer service. How did you come up with this idea? And what do you want to say more about the character? This is the one character which we are talking about. And this one character which we are looking at is the reader, which is yourself in the book. And you are there in every illustration you see. He's witnessing every you know, scenario of customer service. And when he's looking at it, he's understanding what the concept is and where the problems are and what he can do better. How do you relate putting across a book that is so illustrated in something that's so uh, put into more of words? Because in customer service, we're talking about people. We're communicating. We are speaking into words. So how do you try to gauge that gap. Most often it's said that people relate with images, they think with images and the idea behind this is that every picture speaks a thousand words, that's the way the concept goes. And to make it even more friendly for corporates, the same book that you're seeing here with the illustrations, we brought the book in the form of a tabletop tent where you have every illustration already coming up in front of you, so it's not kept under your table or it's been borrowed to somebody or given away. Here what happens is the book is there in front of you, it is not out of sight, it is not out of mind. On customer service, it's different scenarios almost every day. Would you share some experiences that you have noted down in your book for our audience? There are various scenarios in this book because it is based on a theory of service excellence which is called service as a pact. It has to do with process, policy, procedures of every company. How, what is the attitude of people? How they treat their customers? How you want to take care of them? How do you want to serve your customers? How well do you communicate to your customers? Should there be any problems? Should there be any delays? Should there be any other changes? How do you relate that to your customer? And on-time performance. And that plays a very key role also. So when you put the process, policies, attitude, communication and time, that becomes a pact. Now when you look at it, a pact is like an agreement between a customer and a service provider. So when you take care of the customer, the customer will take care of you. You will take care of your business. So you have to first take care of your customer. Only then the customer will come back. Otherwise he will go out and he will never come back to your business. But you take care of him, he will come back again. Probably you'll tell 10 more people, I like this place, why don't we go there? So that's the basic idea behind the pack. Well, what change do you expect when you put up this book to, uh, together and put it on to the audience? There are various changes. The only thing what I'm looking at is that organizations are often talking about customer service, but they don't know how to take the customer service whole thing forward. So what's happening is that books like this is one thing that it doesn't have pages and pages of text and graphs and case studies. 
So it's not what puts anybody to sleep. It's very easy to read. There's only one line below each of the uh, illustrations. So it's easy to read, understand, catch onto the picture, and take the whole concept ahead. So with that being so easy, and now with the concept of 2020 coming in, customer service is going to play a very key role, as we're going to be having a whole load of visitors coming in. So I think it's going to really help all industries to make sure that they take care of their customers. So it's going to have, it is having a powerful impact, also because it is not a novel book, it's very different from the novel book. Ladies and gentlemen, I have gone through this book and it's a delight to read this book, Delighting Customers. Now since this is the Mr. Gangadharan's maiden venture, I would like to know how many more books can we see of his? At this moment, I would love people to love this book and possibly get a hand at it. It's available in Jashan Mals. And having said that, there is another book in the pipeline which is not going to be a pictorial book because it's not going to have pictures but it's going to have a different format once again it's going to, I'm going to make sure that it is very easy to read it doesn't tax the reader but it sets information on service and how to handle service but at different tiers of handling service so again a book on customer service in the making? again a book on customer service in the making but from different positions how it's going to be handled and Mr. Gangadhan is again going to surprise us with this new book? I hope it will be a surprise because it will not be the ordinary book. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. One last question, if I may. We were all surprised with a completely different format of a book for something like customer service. Has it really worked? What is kind of, what the kind of feedback have you received from the audience? If I might say in one word, mm -hmm. wow. Because what happens is when you open a book, you normally find text and text and text. But when you open a book and you find pictures and pictures and pictures, then the obvious reaction is what? Mm -hmm. So, if that answers your question. Yes, when I saw the book, I did say wow. And when you guys go to this book, go to each page of it, you too will say wow. Because it is a wow book. And with this message of delighting customers is in the title itself has come out so well to the book itself. So thank you for writing such a wonderful book. Or should I say thank you for illustrating such a wonderful book. Yes, it is more of illustrating a book rather than writing a book because it was not written. It took three years, I said, because I had to look for an artist, an artist who can translate all the words and thoughts into pictures. So it was an illustrative book and not a written it's totally different in concept. Yes. Every line, every stroke, every smile has a lot of work behind that. Three years is quite a long time. I Indeed. hope the next book doesn't take three years and we get to see it much more faster. Hopefully. It all depends on the work and the kind of book that it is that will come back. How long are we waiting for your next book? I cannot commit a time for the book right now. Come on, delight the customers. I can't give you a time right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you want to say anything more regarding your current maiden venture? As I said, this, this has been something which is I dreamt of, which I should do, and I said, let me go ahead with this kind of a book. Because I have a personal library. It's all about text and books. It's all on customer service. Then I said, what can we do differently that's going to be easy for people to read? That's when we came up with this concept of a book. Mm -hmm. And this is the only kind which I have seen so far. I have an illustrated business book. People think it's a cartoon, but it's not a cartoon. People think it's a business book, but it's a business book of a different nature. So it's a total mix of things. But it's easy to read, but it's a very serious subject in the real sense of it. Well, with this, my questionnaire is actually exhausted. And those of you who have read customer, Delighting Customers is, would want to ask any questions to the author? Yeah. Very much the reason why we did not have any color in the in the book is because when you have a color, it distracts when you read the book. So we thought we thought we would make it that way. Customer service is also very old. It's not new concept. It's always been there for generations and generations. So we said, let's keep it black and white so you don't get distracted with the colors, but understand the concept behind the book.
المحاضره بعد كده ونو اونت باي سم انجلش بوك وي فاوند ات مور موست اكسبنسيف هاو تو سولف ذس بروبلم I have tried to maintain the price of the book and I have tried not to make it expensive. And I'm also working on something very seriously is how I can get this book translated in Arabic so that it could be useful for some of the people for whom it's more reader friendly, user friendly and can actually work based on the concepts and illustrations there. But if we have it in Arabic, of course my Arabic friends will like it, but would it be punch of your uh, one liners to be, to be lost in translation it would be a little bit different but obviously it has to relate the message so it would be probably in the right message for which i require the right translators the right publishers for that to track out the book done in arabic mm -hmm. it's mainly for the government offices and other people who have been asking me why don't you do this book in arabic for lots of the use for this part of the world so we're just working on that and i'm just keeping my fingers crossed well mr gandhar it is a pleasure having you here it is a pleasure moderating this session with you and we got to know a little bit more which i myself didn't know about delighting customers is thank you for your time and wish you all the best for your next venture i thank all the people who have come here accidentally and intentionally because This has been a forum where I thought I can share the book, and it's been a very good forum. I can take the whole thing forward. If you can get your hands at this book, it's available in Amazon, it's available in UAE, it's available in India, and hopefully it's going to be in Arabic soon. So if you can get your hands on your book, you will find that there's lots to learn from it. Enjoy the book, and you really can take care of your customers because I feel that sales is always heaping business but it's service that's keeping it growing thank you